What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to install CDI Extender without using any computer. So in my previous video I have shown you how to sign Yalu forever using CDI Extender on the device, but CDI Extender had to be installed using a computer. But in this video I'm going to show you how to install it directly from the device without even touching a computer. This will be very very useful for those of you who do, do not have a Mac. Right, so uh, let's start. We're going to need to add a couple of things into Cydia, but it's going to be a, an easy procedure. Let's start. At first, of course, you need to be jailbroken in order to do that. And I got a, a couple of questions about this and whether it can be installed on a non-jailbroken device or not. Unfortunately, you cannot install Cydia Extender on a non-jailbroken device. That would be useless due to the, uh, the fact that Cydia Extender uses some of the tweaks. I'm going to show you. So um, you need to go in Cydia first and in order to, to install Cydia Extender without a computer or without a Mac you need to add the following repo and thanks Mehi Mirzeev for, um, for telling me about this, uh, this repo. Okay, so uh, you need to go in here sources and this is the repo apt.enduniverse.com slash Cydia. The repo is in the description down below. Then after you add the repo, I have already done that, you need to go and search for the following pack Cydia extender installer. You're going to have this uh, pack in here, click install, click confirm and you're going to be able to install the, uh, the pack. Give it a couple of seconds and you will be good to go. So uh, in the meantime I want to tell you that this is not going to involve a computer but you're going to need to install mobile terminal as well. Okay we can go here to return and click search. Then you need to search for M terminal. If you don't have it installed you're going to need to install this one in here. Then you need to also install FileZa if you don't have it installed. FileZa files a file manager which is in uh, this place because we're going to use files that to get our team IDs. Now some of you asked me if I cannot make an IPA of this and send it to you or put a link in the description. Well unfortunately that's not possible because you're going to create an IPA or you're going to sign the uh, application using your own team ID and your own t uh, team ID only works with your own Apple ID and password. So that would make it useless. Okay, let's continue to the next step. We need to find our team ID. To do so, we open files that we just installed and we're going to search for Yalu. So I'm going to go back up until here in this and I'm going to go to var. Uh, if I remember well, we should probably find containers bundle application and then here we should probably be able to find Yalu or of course Yalu Dark depending on what you're using. I am using Yalu Dark but it's the same thing. Then in the Yalu Dark or Yalu.app scroll until you see the embedded.mobile provision. Open it using a text editor like this and you will be able to find your team ID. In my case it's this one in here but I'm going to scroll a little bit more to show you. So in here, com.apple.developer.teamidentifier and this is the team ID. You're going to need to copy this, close this one up, close Cydia and open M terminal, the one that you just installed. Now at first you need to, uh, to get a uh, privilege escalation in here using SU. It will ask you for a password. If you changed the uh, password of the device, it's going to be your password. But the default one is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. In my case, it's Alpine and you can see we've got this. Now in here, we're going to write the following command. C-Y extender space and then paste your, um, your ID in here paste, return. And you, you're going to see this, warning this installs app sync, LDID, WGET, CR certificates, and so on. So um, this is actually going to tell you that what is going to install is going to do everything automatically, so you do not have to do anything, because it's going to actually unpack them, install them, and so on. But you just need to know that it will install um, App Sync, so I do not recommend you to do this on an iPhone 7 jailbroken with Mac Portal, because the App Sync is not very compatible with that. 
Okay, so you can see that actually uh, doing everything in a verbose mode. So uh, there shouldn't be a problem. You should definitely be waiting at this point and uh, you will be good to go in a couple of seconds. Also, we will need to configure this. I know this is very, very easy compared with the computer method, but uh, you just need to keep in mind that installing repos and installing uh, CD Extender from an unofficial repo like uh, enduniverse.com is mm, a little bit sketchy. I don't say it's dangerous, it might not be dangerous, but it's a little bit sketchy and usually I rather stay away of them. But because a lot of you do not have a Mac, then this is the solution for those of you who do not have a Mac, a computer at all, or so on. So Windows users should be fine with these. As I said, things go up automatically with no problem. Now, uh, thanks to the guy who put this together, it's a very good script, you can see it does everything automatically, so it saves you a lot of pain. And it's done. There we go. So, um, I'm going to close the notification. Alright, let me try to close terminal, and now we need to go ahead and open the extender. You can see I have it on the screen, and I'm going to open it. At first, it's going to ask me for a VPN configuration. Click Allow. This is part of the application and you're going to get this error. Click OK if you get it and simply restart the application. Close it and restart it again. It will ask you again for something. As you can see in here, CDI Extender Profile. Now it's verified. If you have a passcode, it will also ask you for a passcode. I'm going to stop the application again, just in case it requires anything else. You can see I do have Yalu, but I'm going to remove it completely, so I will be out of any kind of jailbreak at this point. I mean, if I restart, I will not be able to jailbreak again, because I removed Yalu. But that wouldn't be a problem, you can see in here. And I'm going to... Simply go ahead here on yalu.qwertywoodyup.com and try to install the IPA directly on the device without using the computer at all. So click the IPA, it will start the, uh, the download process. And you can see it's downloading up on the top in here. So we have here the Yalu, you click uh, more in here and copy the extender. It will start the extender app and it's going to ask you for your Apple ID and password. Let me try again. Sometimes it doesn't simply catch the uh, IPA for some reason. Okay, as you can see from here, it did this time. A and you need to simply log in. Click attempt and you're going to see this. It will start automatically and you can see you don't see anything on the screen. But if you go in here, you're going to wait for a notification from the uh, CD extender and it's going to tell you something about uh, CD extender wanting to install something. I'm going to go back in here. You can see it says 192.168 whatever would like to install Yalu 102. I'm going to click install and you're going to see it installs automatically. You can see Yalu started installing and I'm not using any computer. There we go, let's open Yalu. It will say untrusted developer. So for that, in order to fix that, you're going to need here, to go here, to uh, general, to provisioning profiles in here, and you have your own uh, account. Click trust. And then you're going to go ahead in here and application will start with no problem. Exactly as you did with the uh, CDI Impactor, but this time you're only using your device. So this is basically how it works, guys, and how it works only from the uh, device without using any computer. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, till the next time, do not forget, the application is signed ever up until the restart so if you if you restart your device in a non jailbroken state you will still be uh, you will still be able to actually open yalu so it is not going to create your problems so yeah it's pretty interesting till the next time i'm geo snow peace out